everybody, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be sharing some of my top habits for keeping a tidy and clean house. We have a family of seven, so it's really busy and it's absolutely essential that I stick to these habits which I'm gonna share with you all now. So to start off with, my most recommended thing that you can do that has helped me the most is to have routines and schedules in place. Without them, you just kind of don't know where to start, you don't know what the day holds, and you haven't got any goal or direction. So definitely having routines and schedules in place is a brilliant start to keeping a clean and tidy home, especially if you've got several different people living with you. So think about your routines and schedules. The first thing I like to do in the morning is make everybody's beds. It just helps the rooms look put together, it looks like somebody cares and it gives the whole feel in the house um, a sense of tidiness and completion. It's also nice when the kids come home from school or you come in after going out and all the beds are made and you can see that right away and it's so much nicer to get into a freshly made bed at night time and you know it's just a nice place where you can get some comfort and relax and make it nice and cosy for yourself. The next habit is especially great for when you are starting a new week or if you're trying to get into a routine is to have a diary or planner so that you can get what's in your head onto paper and you can have a tick list so you will know what needs doing that particular day so you can start off with a Monday and just write down the things that need doing the most that day and you can plan your whole week like this you can either plan your month or six monthly cleaning routines as well but it really does help to have a checklist of what needs doing that day so that you don't start forgetting what needs doing and it also helps to make sure that you don't get sidetracked or you don't spend too long um, sitting down or going on Facebook that kind of thing so that you can keep checking in on yourself make sure that you're keeping up to task Next up is storage and organisation. So make sure that when you're putting your Halloween things away, you're not just shoving them in a bag, you're putting them in the appropriate box, nice and neat and tidy so that things don't get damaged and all the Halloween stuff is in one nice container, ready for you to pull out the next year. And also, as for organisation, things in your kitchen like baskets with certain items in so that you know where everything is and it helps to keep everything just so much neater and tidier and it saves you so much time when you're looking for things if you know exactly which box or which basket to look in for your items and of course it stops everything spilling out the cupboards as well so it definitely helps with the organization and the clean and tidiness of your house it's important when doing your cleaning and tidying to make it an experience to actually enjoy doing it so why not get some scented candles to let some aroma into your house and you might like to try some incense as well just to make it a more peaceful place to enjoy cleaning and actually looking after your home and appreciating the things that you have and you also might like to listen to some music whilst you're cleaning it can help to give you more energy help to keep you more motivated also doing these things like rituals and your routines your candles etc it gets your brain into the right mode for doing the tasks ahead so make it an experience, relax and enjoy your time. Putting things away when we're done is often something that I used to struggle with. So I would do a pile of ironing and then just leave it in the basket. These days, 
as soon as I finished ironing, I go and hang the items up right away. And it's the same with meal times. As soon as everybody's finished eating, don't sit down watching TV for a bit. Get straight up, put the pots away, get them washed, cleaned, put away immediately. And do this with everything. When you pay, put your makeup on in the morning, tidy it away as soon as you can. Don't leave things to lay around and fester. This is how the chaos starts to build up. So make sure that you are putting pots away after meals, don't leave them out. And try to incorporate everybody in your house to tidy up after themselves immediately. Keep your eye out for it. If you don't watch your children, you'll notice that they start just leaving things hanging around. You have to keep on top of it all the time. So as soon as they leave something in the wrong place or they're doing something like colouring and they leave all their books and pens all over their bedroom floor, remind them, say, if you've finished, can you tidy that up, please? And then it's tidy for the next time you want to do something else rather than having piles and piles of things just bundling up on top of each other and then it can really get out of hand pretty fast. So make sure that you tidy as you go and every time that you get up and go into a different room, try to make sure that you're carrying something with you. Something that needs to go back in its rightful place that's been moved from another room by somebody else. You should always be putting things back where they belong, ASAP. Make sure that you do something a little different every day so it's not the same old routine all the time, such as cleaning your windows on one day, maybe rearranging your bookshelves on another day. Make sure that you do something different, like bring some nice flowers into the home in a nice vase and put that in a nice place to brighten up the space. Or maybe you could rearrange one of your kitchen cupboards on that day just so that you're breaking it up and doing something a little different so it's not the same old routine constantly. You might like to prep a meal in advance so that you can relax more around one of the meal times. Or you could add some seasonal decor to your home on that day to make it a little bit different and to give your home a more cosy and warm feeling. Make sure that you are scheduling in for yourself some cosy time, some rest time and some relaxation time. There's nothing worse than tidying up and cleaning the house from the second you get in from dropping the kids off school to when you pick them up and then continuing that afterwards. It's so nice to have just a little me time at some point in the day. So maybe take yourself for a nice November autumn walk. Make sure that you're nicely dressed up warm and all cosy so you can enjoy your walk. You'll especially enjoy getting in afterwards and making yourself a nice hot drink so that you can rest and relax. You might need to schedule yourself in some Netflix time or a nice hot bath with some candles, even if it's only half an hour. Make sure that you schedule in a little bit of me time in your day. I hope you really enjoyed this video and found it really helpful, picked up some tips. So get into the habit and I am off to prep some meals so that I can pretty much skip preparing dinner time and skip preparing breakfast. So I've got some more relaxation ahead of me. So I'll see you in the next video.